Indeed he is. Lying second in the championship chase, Max Frick, who's replacing Jason Doyle. Missed the first three rounds, got 10 points two weeks ago. Going good again tonight, here we go. Oh, they're away on the inside, Frick's there. Brilliant start for Max Frick. Jack Holder follows him through. Mikkel Mickelson makes it very hard for Dan Bewley in the first corner. Bewley's got a lot of work to do if he's going to get back in the final here in Melilla. But Max Frick, what a night he's enjoying. And Jack Holder, the Aussies are looking strong. Yeah, they're looking strong. Looks like they've got this sewn up. Mickelson really is winding on around the outside. I just feel that that dirt line is now too far. And uh, Jack Holder, he took gate two. It's always a fear when gate one statistically is the best. And you hand it to Max Frick, but this will do for him. Two Aussies look like they're heading for the final. Mickle Mickelson in third place. He's keeping Dan Bewley at bay there, but uh, Max Frick sharp away from the tapes. What a return to Grand Prix Speedway for the Aussie rider. He's going to win at a canter here, and he's through to the final. Max Frick. In the final for the first time in 2024, he'll be chuffed to miss with that, and so is Jack Holder. Absolutely no recognition from Jack Holder there at all as he rode by Max Frick. But Frick and Holder through to the final here in Sweden tonight. Mikkel Mickelson, as hard as he tried, could the not land a blow. And Dan Bewley off that First outside place, gate. Max well, once again, it just proved a bridge too far for him. Aussie 1 2, they're in the final. Aussie 1 2, this Speedway of Nations pairing will need to uh, work on their relationship a little, but I fully understand that in a Grand Prix. Both of them made good starts, crept around the inside, absolute game plan to perfection, knew what they wanted to do. Holder there was taking no chances. He had the opportunity to run straight in his corner, run for the dirt line in an effort maybe to pass Max Frick. But he said, no, I'm patient. I'm just going to cut back to the inside, cover that off, follow Max Frick. And that's all he needed to do. To be honest, the, uh, the first semi-final was a bit of an anti-climax <laughs> compared to some of the races we've seen tonight. But that man won't care. Uh, came back in here. We heard from him in, in a great interview that Abby gave uh, uh, before the meeting started. Very calm and collected, Max Frick, and he's riding with great professionalism tonight, and he makes the final. Very competitive lineup. Start Marshall. Bouncing around with that head cam. Like that shot, don't you? No, I, I, I find it very difficult to look at, to be perfectly honest. But there we are. Um, uh, each to their own. Here we go then, second semi-final. Here we go. Oh, what a start from Lambert. Absolutely nails it. Smarzik's there with him. Round the Kubera, outside, Kubera. Kubera coming on. Will he get the better of Smarzik? Yes! Oh, oh that's tight. Oh, what a move. Kubera, absolutely top draw staff. Relegates Smarzik to the back, but Smarzik's not out of it. Look at Smarzik go round the outside. Fantastic oh, speedway. Beautiful from Smarzik. Look at the response. He's probably going to hit the front now. Lambert covering off the inside. And now Smarzik's just letting the uh, horse oh. as it rains. Oh, look at that for a move. Tell you what, he could come out of this corner in front. Bartosz Smarzik against the front. Robert Lambert tried to cover it. But the world champion just about hanging on. Look at it now. Lambert's coming back at him. Oh, this is tight stuff. <laughs> Sensation. You're both through. You don't need to be doing that. But Robert Lambert and Bartosz Smarzlik, who has ridden very, very well tonight, they're getting the better of Kubera and Andre Lebedevs. And the world champion makes his fifth final of the season. Five out of five for that man. Lambert through to his second final of the night. <laughs> He's probably run out of steam. Has he got anything left for the final? Respect to those two. They didn't need to be swapping places like that. They had it sewn up. What a race. Brilliant speedway. And uh, that was uh, after Results a fairly straightforward semi first semi-final. Semi-final Thanks, number two. Absolutely <laughs> fabulous speedway. Top draw stuff. Barzosmarsley <laughs> just having a few deep breaths yeah, on is. the way back to the to, uh, to the pit area. Yeah, I've got to be honest. I thought Lambert had this one sewn up. Kubera, lovely first turn. Just came off the dirt line a little bit early, which made it harder for him. But he still managed to get across Smarzlik. Look at Smarzlik stretching his arms. He turns the bike so late, and there's no room between him and Kubera. Absolutely brilliant opening lap from Kubera. 
And uh, meanwhile, Lambert, he looks just quite happy to be riding around the middle of the track. He's not even riding tight. But uh, look at that. Look oh. at Spars. Look, he's just... He's got the leg up in the air because there's not a lot of room as he comes into the corner. He deals with Kubera first. And then the scrap in the last couple of laps between him and Lambert was first class. I hope this is a warm-up to the final. Me too. This was uh, truly extraordinary stuff. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. So Lambert I, didn't even know he was coming at that no, point. No, I, I think Lambert thought he was reasonably comfortable out in front, but uh, when you got uh, Smiles like in this mood, he's looking like he could win his first Grand Prix of the year. But uh, again, consistency playing a huge part here makes uh, Final once again. Oh, bouncing across the curve. Bouncing across there. Motorcycle skills out of the top draw there from the world champion. And he's through. What a tasty lineup we've got. Two Australians. Bartosz Marslik and Robert Lambert. Fantastic lineup.